Hey guys, Stephen here from the Peter Kahn Academy Dubai. I hope you're having a great day and looking forward to a fantastic summer ahead. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, the golf swing, but we're going to particularly look at the driver swing. Uh, so I'll just grab my driver here. Um, something important which we see with our students, obviously with the driver you want to generate speed. Uh, obviously speed does help us with, with the distance, but the speed really comes from the the wrist action, your ability to, to cock the wrist up and then to uncock them or to release them back down. So you can hear that, that whipping. So if we can cock those wrists up and release them down, that does generate a lot of speed. Um, but it's important that the club is moving in the right direction or on this curve or arc as we come in to attack the ball. Uh, in order to do that, it's important that we use the shoulders correctly. So if we can get the wrist cocking up and uncocking down with the correct shoulder loading and unloading, then you've got a great chance to get a lot of distance, a lot of power and consistency, particularly with, with, with the driver. Um, so we have something, we've talked about it before, the Peter Kahn Axe Drill. That's a great drill, maybe go online, go onto our YouTube site, uh, check the Axe Drill, there's lots of information on that. But we're going to talk a little bit about the shoulder loading and unloading relative with this nice cocking and uncocking of the wrist. So if I was to, to cock the wrist up and then lift the hands and arms up, once those arms and hands are just above the shoulders, I really feel my shoulders have, have loaded here. Okay? Now if I was to bring my shoulders back down again, now the shoulders are sitting back down, they're coming back down into position, and the club's coming back down on the same line. Okay? And that's something which people struggle with in their golf swing. They don't bring their shoulders back down into the same position. Okay, so if you watch again, I'm lifting the club up, my wrists have cocked as I lift the arms up. The hands are above the shoulders, so I feel the weight up here, the shoulders have loaded. But as I come down, the shoulders sit back down in again into the same position. So the club is working up and down in the same direction. There's no variance off that line. So we want the same in our golf swing to get the consistency of the strike and the consistency in, in, in the actual path or the way in which the club comes through and delivers onto the back of the golf ball. So if I, if I cock the wrists and then I'm doing just going to lift the hands up, rotate the shoulders, so I'm in a good position here. So simply what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let the shoulders come back down. So I've let the shoulders sit back down and that's a great little move there. So the shoulders have gone up, are loaded, the shoulders have come back down and the club's in a great position for me now to uncock those wrists, that's where we get the speed from, that'll bring the club squarely back to the ball. Unfortunately when we teach, we see a lot of students, they get into a decent position here, but the shoulders aren't coming back down into position, they're either falling back or in particular the right shoulder is working out towards the ball and this has a big influence on the direction or the path of the club head. So I'm a great believer if we can cock those wrists correctly, load the shoulders correctly here, but the key move is let the shoulder sit down, back down. So we're just doing this, we're going up, we're letting them sit back down. We're going up, we're letting the shoulders sit back down. Now that club's in a great position for me now just to let the wrist uncock, which gives me the speed through the ball. So something you can experiment, something you can try. Come to the academy, we've got a great team of professionals here who can certainly help you with that. Thank you.